is pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Trigger man, I never you was. You were the closest one to him. That makes you the man for the job. Crap. Miguel is a nobody. I was right to let him live. You go back and you tell him that. What, is it done already? Oh, damn. He made the short list. Is that right? <laughs> I never thought Thank you. Was you see, I don't understand how you could pull a stunt like this. I'm getting out. You know, ever since Angela left you, you've been like a cripple. That woman broke you in half. You're wrong, but it doesn't matter. Damn fool. Who ordered me dead, Tony? It was our guys, wasn't it? 
We don't know that. Oh, don't play dumb, Tony. The order wouldn't have come through you anyway. They know we're friends. Oh, it's okay. I'm glad it's finally finished. I'm standing here an hour, my back is killing me. Come on. What are you gonna do out there, Richard? Get a straight job? Join the Rotary? I want you to help me get out, Tony. Why should I? Because you're my friend. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Richard, we do what has to be done. We got into this for a reason. Oh, yeah. What possible reason could there be in killing Miguel? Forget Miguel. And the Miguel. two civilians, what was their contribution to national security? Spare me, will you? Look, maybe I can swing some. Get you into an office job up here as a recruiter. Forget it, Tony. It's over. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're gonna have to completely disappear. And even then, there's no guarantee. But I know a guy. I can work it out. Tony, I never wanted this to happen. We'll have to arrange a cover story, an accident, something. You lay low for a couple of days. The great faces drew from character, from real life. So I tell all my clients the same thing. I remake the face. You remake the person. Now look through this and find something, Mr. Cole. Do it later, Obadiah. I don't want to know anything. So no matter what I may ask you about his appearance, his identity, no matter how much I may rant or rave or threaten you, you tell me nothing. Am I understood? You are. Good. Would you wait outside for a moment? Tony, I... Forget it. Forget everything, except this one thing. You're out of it now, but you're never out of it. I hope you find what you're looking for, pal.
Yeah, I'm uh, having a bad day. Excuse me. Just one second. I'm sorry, man. Uh, sorry, let me give you the guy me. thought I was trying to rob him. Have a guts. I don't know what anybody want to. Rob his place for in the first place. Don't worry about it. It happens like once a week. Like this guy? Yeah. I believe it. I'm just looking for a uh, Rebecca Cantor. She has an apartment somewhere Studio in this building. Studio, fifth floor. Five flights. Great. It's just what I need. That's nice. Oh, thanks. It's the first human being I've seen in a picture all day. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm David Tiomkin. I'm doing a piece on the local art scene for a local newspaper, sort of. How come I haven't seen your stuff before? I like your stuff. There's, there's people I know. I don't know. <laughs> you want an interview? <laughs> no, I'm serious, you know? What the hell? No, thanks, no. No? OK, now that, that's a first. Most of the artists I meet to jump into my pants trying to get into print. And then I got to buy them the drinks because they don't have any money. I don't even drink anymore. So what do you do, really? What do you mean? You just doing this part time? You're into real estate? No, it's, I guess this is it. Huh. Well, sorry for the interruption. Goodbye. What's your name? Eric. Eric, it's nice stuff. Uh, so you're in the show business? You just commune here on the weekend? No. Whoa. You see that? There's no people. Take it easy. Yo, man, come on, let's go! <laughs> man, that party was just cute, man. I see how you doing. Hey, a good time. I was hey, man. Hey, check this out, man. Hey, who's that, man? What's he doing? I don't know. You seen him around here before, man? Nah, no, man. He's probably a damn cop. Man, I'm still free. Hey, man, what you doing? Come here. Let me see this. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. These are all my kids here. This is Ralph, Manuel, Joey, and this is Dolores. Hi. But uh, Dolores is my friend. Hi, and hi. Hey, 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 no, tuyo. Dáselo para atrás. Sí, sí, dibujo este. No lo necesito. Está bien si se lo lleva. you learn to speak Spanish like that? Not selling real estate, that's for sure. How'd you like to teach these guys art? Right here. I'm one of the administrators. It doesn't pay any money, but it's a lot of fun. And these kids, they have talent up the wazoo. They, they just gotta have somebody to show them the ropes. You know what I'm talking about? You think you might They'd be interested in something? I don't think so. A little too busy, huh? Yeah. You know, aren't we all? Who was that, your old lady? No. Why, you, what, are you, you married, Eric? No. Okay, Eric, goodbye. Where'd you get the scar? car accident 10 years ago. They say I was clinically dead for nine minutes. Where'd you get yours, huh? Your scar. Did your old lady dump you? Did your kids hate you? What did it to you? Don't even answer. I, you know, I don't want to take up any more of your time. 
I, I really don't know what it is with you artist types. You're always standing on the outside of life. You're looking in. I thought, judging from your work, you might be a little bit different. Sorry. Keep in touch, Eric. It's really been great. Forget about it. It's rotten already. Look, I have some time. Maybe I could help out. Oh, you think you're Picasso? No, I'm the one he put in charge. Hey, what's, hey, what's going on with you guys? Look, he's painting the hair yellow. Eric said try yellow, then red to make oh, orange, and stupid. Did. Yeah, he did. Why don't you just hey, look hey, at me? Hey, Ralph, we said that. Just work it out, okay? Clean up your face. Hey, you. Since you brought in a computer, I can barely get her attention. Don't worry. I'd rethink the earring, but that girl's nuts about you. Yeah, until some handsome stud in a portion of book deal comes along. I don't think so. She told me how you met. Did she go into the grisly details? No, it was just short and to the point. She was lost in the streets. You saved her. You're God. That's all. That woman's got a big man. Rosalie, give us a break, would you? That's absolutely spot to hold. Perfect. Yeah. All right, Dion. Yeah, how many heads has she got this time? That's good. That's great. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, Jill, I don't need to tell you anything. Oh, Anita, see, this is this is really good. This is really good. Can I can I just show you something? Uh -huh. Okay. Look at Rosalie. And see the way the edge of her arm goes? Mm. Just follow the edge oh, with your eyes and don't look at the paper. All right? See that? Yeah. See the way you get an outline like that? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's simple, really. Doctor Public Relations. Angela Burke, please. B E R K. Sorry, Angela Burke left last year. Do you know where she went? Thank you. Chadman Public Relations, good afternoon. Angela Burke, please. Hang on. Sorry she's not in. Friday's her volunteer day at the museum. Would you like the number? Sir, would you like the number? Richard! Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, don't touch that. Uh, that's, yeah, that's expensive. Sir? Yeah, watch those kids. Hey, yo, 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 I'm not this stuff make it in here, man. This stuff is trash. And what are you, a critic? I did that. 
Dolores wants to know if you want to go out with that friend of hers, Lisa. Oh, uh, well, uh... She's not bad, Eric. Come on, man, what is it? Are you gay or something? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, you're just weird. I'm telling you, if I had your face, I'd be sleeping my way across America. <laughs> Just a figure of speech, babe. <laughs> Go to hell, David. That's also a figure of speech. <laughs> Beautiful. Shh. Oh, pet it, but don't touch. Yeah. Oh. I didn't touch it. <laughs> this room is pre-Columbian. It dates from 300 AD to 1300. It's predominantly Mayan and Toltec, and it's wonderful stuff, so please enjoy yourselves, all right? Mr. Cooper, telephone. Yep. I'll lay you four to one. You're having a glass of Chablis and a Caesar salad right now. Who's this? Thursday. Caesar salad, right? Hey, Richard. Where are you? Oh, North America. I'm just passing through. I couldn't resist a hello. Look, what do you want? This is a very dangerous phone call. What's going on, Tony? Angela's in town. They got her under surveillance. I thought you wanted out of it. Stay out of it. Are they trying to get me through her? I'm supposed to be dead. Yeah, well, they're, uh, they're not entirely convinced of that. And you were right about Miguel. It was a big mistake. It looks like the whole thing could blow right up in their faces. Well, what of it? I didn't kill Miguel, remember? Yeah, but you know where the order came from, which makes you a loose end. Damn. And you know how they are about neatness. Was she in danger? Mm -hmm. No, I've got my eye on her. Anyway, it looks like they think she's a dead end. Oops. Now I feel better. Look, I told you not to worry. As long as I'm around, she's okay. Just you stay the hell out of it. You're invisible, right? Yeah, but you're not. No, but I'm very careful. Which means we gotta end this phone conversation right now. All right. How's your life, my friend? It's great. Yours? Fantastic. Call me again in five years. Can we have a 
little bit of cheering down here. Maybe these guys might play a little bit better, huh? Yeah, Polly. No, Polly. This just came in. The body of Dr. Obadiah Stern, the famed plastic surgeon of the stars, was found only minutes ago at his downtown office. The first reports indicate he may have been a victim of robbery. Police say the doctor was apparently tied up, beaten, and stabbed repeatedly, leading them to believe the crime involved more than one person. The gruesome crime has left members of this exclusive community shocked. The coroner's office said it will be later today before they can establish the exact time of the doctor. Tony Cooper, please. Code, please. 3490, Charlie Brickman. Is he in? Cooper's on assignment. Well, I need to get an AR to him. Can he be reached? Hold on. I'll see if there's a DDE on him. Elizabeth's looking. So, Brickman, how was Guatemala? Jim Franco, is Walter here? Hi, Walter. Is Tony there? Tony Cooper? No, he's not. I can't seem to get a hold of him. Has he been around lately? Well, no, he hasn't. Um, why? What is it? Well, I'm afraid Tony won't be back. He just got word that Tony died today. No. Who are you? We were married for six years. You lived in Nyack, then Boston. Your favorite artist was Paul Clay. You left me because you hated my work. You hated what I stood for. You said you didn't want to have children with a man like me. Look in my eyes. Oh, oh I've, I've seen you somewhere before. The museum. here because you're in danger danger what kind of danger i don't know an accident probably those people again richard what what they think they can just come back here and and push me around yes well you know what i'm not afraid of them who do they think they are Angela. they can go to hell no listen no they're not going to mess up my life again. And neither are you. 
Oh, God. Why did you come back here? Why? The man you're seeing. How long have you known him? How do you know about him? Oh. You're still playing nasty little games, aren't you, with people's wives? Why did you come back here? I thought it was to help you, but now I'm not sure. Look, this was a mistake. I should have waited till they had more information. Listen, I'm going to give you a number where you can contact me for any reason, even if something doesn't feel right. I'm sorry. Richard, wait. I'm sorry. For what? For everything. The past, my part of it. There were times when I missed you so much. I missed you. Richard, I like my new life. I do. I'm glad to hear that. Hey. Are you aware that you didn't look me in the eye once during lunch? I mean, every time I start talking to you, I feel like I'm talking to... Jensen in our billing department. I'm sorry. I, I just had a bad night, Frank. What is this? The past again? The undertow? I guess so. You want to talk about it? Hey, hey, hey. Does this have anything to do with me? I mean, is this some kind of, you know, roundabout, underhanded way of telling me to get no, lost? No, Frank. Wow. This has nothing to do with you. In that case, have you given any more thought to my offer? Yes. And? I still need some time. OK. But just so you know, I mean, you know, for your information, I saw a place out in the valley yesterday. Huge place. I mean, enormous, like an airplane hangar. We could have separate apartments. <laughs> you would never have to see me. You could have a string of boyfriends. I could have dancing girls. Yeah. When you need time, I need time too, all right? Frank, you've been such a great friend to me. I don't know how I would have gotten through this year without you. I just hope you don't mind my uncertainty. It's OK, I told you. It's OK for now. You got it bad. Come on, kid. I'm gonna take you home. Frank, can I trust you? Yes, of course. Look, Angela, you don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to. But putting me in this position of having to watch you suffer, that's not fair. That's not fair to me. I think if you're gonna dredge up your tortured past, you ought to do it in private. Sorry. I'm sorry, that was out of line. My husband is alive. I think you better stay with me tonight. No, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, and what if he comes back? He won't. Damn, I'll tell you. What is he, an adventure freak? It was bad enough when he was dead. Now he's this phantom roaming the streets. How do I compete with a spy? Frank, please. Well, I don't like it. I think you ought to tell the authorities. Frank, you promised. Why did you tell me? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Maybe there's a way we could help him. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I'm good with custody cases. He even suggested you might be a spy. 
You're not a spy, are you, Frank? So that's what this is all about. You're using this as another excuse to avoid getting close to me. I'll tell you what I am. I'm a hungry lawyer who's been waiting for you to fall in love with me. I mean, in case you hadn't noticed. Now, granted, I can't scale walls. I don't climb in windows at 3 a.m. But I happen to think I'm a damn good catch. I don't believe I said that. <laughs> Frank, who could blame you? I'm sorry. Don't worry, sweetie. Your secret is safe with me. What are his chances that these guys are really after him? I don't know. What would you like to have happen? I, I guess that he'd be left in peace. out some things. You know, don't panic. I didn't say anything. I simply went to Whitney and I threw out some hypotheticals. And? And it's not good. As long as he's in hiding, basically he's still fair game. I mean, legally he doesn't exist, for God's sake. You mean there's nothing anyone can do? Not if you didn't want to come forward. Come forward? Yeah, come forward. Uh, seek protection, demand his rights. That's been done before. I mean, he could write a book. He could go on a talk show. Frank, please. Can he really do that? Why not? He's still a U.S. citizen. Oh, he'd never betray them. All right. That's his choice. Angela. Just leave it alone. The guy is invisible. And as long as he's invisible, he's relatively safe. These people he should contact, who are they? I don't, I don't know that. I mean, you know, Whitney would know who down at Justice. Uh, we represent, uh, what's his face, Broderick with the Times. That part would be easy. Angel, I think it's time you answered a question. Are you still in love with him? Frank, that was over years ago. It doesn't mean that I don't feel for him. I'm sorry, Frank. This hasn't been very fair for you, has it? I don't care about fair. I care about you. Look, ever since this thing started, 
We don't talk about anything else. I want it over. I want it behind us once and for all. Jeffrey's here. You beeped? Uh-huh. You have a message. Angela call. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thanks. What do you think? Should I go with the on-the-street photo or, or the headshot? No, I've been thinking about it. I think you should go with the headshot. You don't need to push the common man thing, and people start to see through that. I can't blame them. That's a good point. Take a look at these. Okay. Well, Senator, what do you say we all get some lunch? Okay. okay. Uh, Angela, join us? Uh, no. No, no, thanks. I have to screen your shopping mall footage. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye, thanks. Angela. Safe here? Yes. I I found out a few things. You don't have to live a life in hiding. Who have you been talking to? I told my friend. What? Richard, I had to. I'm sorry. I couldn't keep this to myself. He's an attorney. I trust him. He won't tell anyone. What did he say? He said that you have a case. If you come forward, they can't hurt you, and that's your best chance. And he said this? Yes. He's one of them. Angela, he's one of them. He's using you to try to get to me. I know this man very well. How well do you know him? Do you know his background? Do you know where he went to school? Yes. Have you met any of his clients? Yes. His friends? Yes. His family? Yes. His firm represents Senator McGuinn, so does mine. That's how we met. Well, why does he want to help me so badly? He doesn't. I do. His advice was to leave it alone. If he were a spy, why would he be so upfront? Well, maybe he's good. You really don't trust anyone, do you? Do you prefer to live in this isolation? Or is it something else? Are you jealous, Richard? No, is that still going on? Isn't it possible that all of this is exactly what it appears to be? Does he want to meet? No. No, he didn't say anything about meeting. I was just supposed to tell you that you do have some options and that he will help you if you want him to. Well, he sounds like a nice guy. Yeah, well, I gotta go. You got it? I'll be in touch. Oh, why? Uh... You sell many of these? Not enough, that's for sure. I can't believe it. So what do you do for a living? I do body work. Really? Listen, I wrecked my car. I can't open a passenger door. I do massage. Uh, most of my clients are showbiz people. I made some good contacts over the years. You know how important contacts are. I, I used to be an art director. Well, after a while, I'd build up quite a clientele, plus a great pair of hands, if you know what I mean. Excuse me. Hey, David. This guy's trying to find the uh, artist that did this. Got any ideas? My client bought it several years ago. Never got the artist's name. Now he swears he's the next Picasso. You ever see anything like it? Uh uh. Couldn't say. Yes, this is business data. I'm checking on the resume of Frank Harkavy. Frank Harkavy? 
Yeah, he attended your law school from 68 to 72, is that correct? Uh, that's right. Uh, let's see, 3.5 average, passed the bar in 72. Thank you. Who is it? David? Hey, man. Hey. What's up? I don't know. You tell me. Hmm? What is it? Yeah, what is it? Who the hell are you, man? There's a guy going around with one of your drawings of her. This lady right here. Now, this guy has cop written all over him. I do not give a damn what you did in your past life. But I got a responsibility to my kids, OK? And I got to know that you're not some kind of a child molester or something, all right? Now, I want to know right here and right now just what the hell is going on. I told you, man, they're government agents. All you have to know is that I used to work with them, and now they're trying to find me. Why do you have to disappear? Nobody knows what you look like. What's the difference? You know what I look like. The kids know what I look like. Yeah, like I'm gonna say something. Come on, what do you take me for? Dave, it's only a matter of time until these guys get on my track. I can't put you or the kids in that position. I had a feeling that you were too good to be true you were trying to start again. If that's the case, let me tell you, I know what that is like. This is no accident. I was a crazy kid. I was into drugs. I did everything, the whole bit. I hated everything, and I drove my car into a wall doing 70. I woke up. I'm staring at the ceiling and thinking, Great, fluorescent lights in hell. And I started getting terrified, because I know I'm going to start all over again. But this time, there's going to be no excuses. Now, I guess maybe you went through something similar. <sighs> Look, after all that we've been through, why should you have to take the fall? There's nothing else that you can do. All righty. Now, we are requesting a postponement of the custody hearing until later this month. Now, you can tell your client that he can see the kids every other weekend, and now that's it, because that's, we're not going to change our position on that. Uh, as to the... Uh, Okay, you calling from a public phone? Yes. Listen, I thought about it, and I'd like to meet Frank. But I've got to be careful. I want to do it at my location and on my terms. Sure. I'm glad. Why the change of mind? I don't know. Maybe I just want to meet you sometime and talk. You know, like regular divorced people. Dagger stuff really necessary? He said it was. He thinks they're watching the house. It's 
feel like I'm in the middle of a Mission Impossible episode. <laughs> Was he always this paranoid? No. No. Not at first. Angela, you really are something else. I've known women from all over the world. None of them had your courage or your class. You've known women from all over the world? Oh, I didn't mean it literally. I mean, yeah, I've been around. What is this? A little hint of jealousy? You are jealous. Oh, I like this. This is nice. I like this. How are things going on the Marcus case? Did you get those depositions? Yeah, last week. When do you go to trial? Um, second week in April. Hopefully. Even with Judge Simpson away? What? He's going in for a kidney operation. Senator McQuinn mentioned it. They're good friends. You know, I just totally forgot about that. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, apparently, Judge Messina is very lenient with custody cases. I just totally forgot. <laughs> Should be it up ahead. say what kind of a car he'd be driving. No. Angela, is it him? It's not him. Angela, for God's sake, speak! It's him! were to turn you over to them. But I told them I wanted to speak to you. I told them that I was certain you were capable of keeping this to yourself, if you knew the truth. Oh, my God! Now listen, oh. listen to me. I want you to understand. I want you to understand. It wasn't Richard! What? I just said that to you. I started to doubt you. It was, it was something you said. It wasn't her. Don't move. Toss your gun out of the car. Richard! Richard! Don't turn your head. Angela, grab the keys and get out of the car. Nice and slow. Richard, 
I didn't know what to do. I told him it was that poor man. My God, I didn't know what to Angela, do. Angela, it's okay. Go back and wait in my car. Get out. Straight ahead. Kneel down. Put your arms and legs behind the tree. What are you gonna do? Don't play dumb, Frank. Just get it over with, Bert. Who's running this operation? No, 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 no. Now let's avoid the blood and guts, huh? As we both know you're gonna talk. Who's running this operation? They don't tell us, you know that. You son of a bitch! I'll cut your tongue out. Burke? Please. All they said was we had to get you immediately. Why? What's the panic? I don't know. They said you sold us out in Central America. That's it. Any idea who killed Tony Cooper? No, they, they said he helped you, that's all. Where were you gonna drop Angela off? Oh, I tried to... Where's the drop-off point? <laughs> Farmer's Market. for you, and you find him, and you don't come back here and tell me you've got problems, or you're going to have problems.
What I tell you, the man is true to his word, huh? Are you all right? Yeah, Where have you been? I'm fine. Uh, we have to go. It's not safe here. Hey, I've been telling her about uh, all the work we've been doing here. Oh, it's wonderful, Richard. Uh, look, I'm going to give you a way to contact me by phone if there are any problems. And when this is all over, I'll try and come back. I don't know how to thank you for everything. did this. My uh, client bought it several years oh, ago. Oh, yeah. You were at the Hanson Gallery last week. Right. I'm still looking. I thought that crazy writer knew the artist. Crazy writer. like I'm in some sort of a dream. What happens now? Well, you stay here. It's safe. There's some things I have to do. Oh, wait a minute. You found something out today. What was it? Richard, hey, wait. You can't do this to me. I'm part of it now. I have a right to know. Angela, you said once we use secrecy like a narcotic. It's true. But the problem is some of the things we do need to be secret. No. I would have died last night and not known why. Now, that's not fair. special unit operating outside normal channels. I answered only to Tony, and Tony answered only to someone else, and so on. And I thought this whole episode was because I knew that our group was behind the Miguel Hernandez killing. But I was wrong. It's something else. It was 1980. We were escorting a group of refugees across the border. And I was knocked unconscious. When I came to, I heard gunfire, and this man, Thomas Ludlow, was firing into the same group of civilians that we were supposed to be saving. That was his idea. He said he was cutting short a long civil war and that the regime would be blamed. And he was right. In two weeks, the regime fell. I didn't know what to do. I, I wanted to arrest him, shoot him. But Tony said they'd handle him. Tony said he was disciplined and thrown out of the organization, so I never said anything. So now he's back and running, Tony? Yes. Why are they going after you now? That happened nine years ago. I, I don't know. I don't even know if he's the one giving the orders. I don't, somebody else might be running him. God, when does it stop? I don't know. That's the way we protected ourselves. It's a miracle you got out. I wanted to tell you a thousand times, but I never knew how. David? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's wrong, man? Why'd you call? They locked me up, man. They stuck me in a dungeon. What happened? They found out I knew you. That's what happened. I don't know how they did. Don't worry, I didn't tell them anything. I said I met you once. I gave him a brief description. I made something up. Look, we gotta do this quickly. You're almost certainly being watched. They're probably trying to trace this call. I don't see anything. Well, you wouldn't. Why did they let you out? I don't know. They just did. They... What? What is it? You okay? I'm scared, man. 
These guys are going to try and pick me up again, aren't they? Yeah, they probably will. Damn. Look, don't play the hero. Just talk. You don't know enough about me to be a problem anyway. Listen, don't give me that, man. I looked right in this guy's face. This guy'd kill his own mother, wouldn't he? Thanks. That's all I needed to know. I'm gonna get you out. I know, man. That's probably exactly what these guys want. These guys are... Look, shut up for a second, will you? Listen to me. I'll figure out something. Look, just get yourself together. We'll talk again in four hours. You got that? All right, I'm sorry, man. I'm just freaking out here. It's all right. Four hours. Four hours. I was right. You're on to David. What are you going to do? Arrange to get him out. Wait a second, it, it, it's a trap. You said so yourself. He could be going along with them. Well, it doesn't matter. I still have to get him out. Wait, Richard, wait, but Frank said still goes. You could accuse no. them publicly. Angela, you don't have that's to do out, of the the it's out of the question. You see the way these guys operate? This guy is personally responsible for the lives of 18 people. Well, maybe that should have been stopped, too, somehow. Look, I couldn't bring back a single life no matter what I did. And if I blew the whistle, the country would have been blamed, not him. You want to know everything? Well, that's it. That's the way it works. Wait a minute, Richard. Don't leave me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know how these things work. I'm sure you did everything you could. No, I let Ludlow get away. Maybe you had no choice. No. I was protecting the organization. That always came first. Even later, when I knew too much to believe in it anymore, I couldn't let go. I love you. I don't think I ever stopped. Listen, Eric, I'm not really sure that this is such a good idea. You know, they, they haven't really been bugging us, and, uh, you know, we don't really have any place to go anyway. I mean... David, I want you to get out. Now, as soon as this thing's over, you can come back. You understand? Okay. Now, in 15 minutes, I want you to go north up Beechwood. Wait, 15 minutes? I didn't think it's going to be that soon. Well, sooner is better. It's okay. Just do it. Go north up Beechwood until you get to the country store. Turn left and go for half a mile. When your odometer hits that half a mile, I want you to stop and park. Forget it, man. You did what you had to do. You didn't have a choice. Oh, I'm sorry. Forget it. it. I mean it. Look, we have a rule. There's no heroes. Everyone talks. 
So don't feel bad, okay? I want you to go to Santa Barbara. There's a hotel reservation there for you. There's a license and car ownership. Your name is Charlie Taylor. You got that? When the situation's stabilized, I'll call you. We can take it from there. There's a lot of money here, man. So have fun while you're away. Now listen, Eric, there's no need for Look, all consider this. consider it my need, okay? Consider it my need. I'm not doing you guys a favor. Now, I don't want you to talk to... Get down! Richard, you did what you could. I actually believed we could run forever. I'm kidding myself. I've become very close to Senator McQuinn. He's a good man. We could go to him, explain what happened, and... What? Thomas Ludlow, a relatively obscure but highly regarded operations officer, will replace the ailing Mr. Connolly as a deputy director. There's no wonder they have an army after me. He's going into politics. What are you doing? We could expose him now. That's obviously what he's afraid of. As long as he's alive, I'll never live to testify against him. That's what you want to believe. Look, you've got to trust me on this. Please, just stay here and don't do anything foolish. You'll just be throwing everything away. Senator McQuinn, please. Angela Burke. Richard? Hello, Tom. Funny. I knew it was you. It's a good face. 
I would never have known you from the face alone. <sighs> Tony said you were going to be difficult. He wasn't wrong. So, I brought all this on myself because I misunderstood you, Richard. And I underestimated you. Well, that makes us even. You've come a long way, Tom. Why didn't you just uh, pick me off? Obviously, could you? I don't know. Nine years ago, I saw you murder 18 people. Why didn't you just kill me then? This thing's just turned up. I should have. Well, maybe I felt I owed you one. Come on, Richard. You've always been a bit of a fool, but not even you can be that much of a boy scout. No. I just wanted to be sure. Sure of what? Of whether killing you would make any difference. Is this all just about your new public image? Or is there more? Some grand design? Come on, Tom, what are you planning this time? <laughs> Richard. You haven't changed much, have you? You know why I didn't shoot you back then? Because you were no threat. Because you knew in your heart that I was right. I'm what this country needs to survive. And that, my friend, is why I am not lying back there with a bullet in my head right now. Have you given any thought to what this country has gone through in the past 15 years or so? Richard, ever since Vietnam, America has had a dilemma. Can't wage war anymore. Oh, sure. We can invade Grenada and knock off 50 construction workers as long as the boys are home in time for Christmas dinner. But you can't get them to fight the enemy where he is. No, Mr. Hell, no. I could get killed out there. Americans are good guys. We have sentimental hearts. You got to show them clarity in purpose or they will not go. How? By slaughtering another group of civilians and blaming it on some guerrilla movement? Come on, Richard. The enemy is out there. He's not 5,000 miles away. He's right next door. Our group did some important work. Now, you know that. But today, we're hamstrung. An order is given. It's rescinded. Ambivalence is killing us. I finally decided that I would do something about it. And that's what's going on here. Yeah. I haven't changed. I'm still about preserving our way of life, ensuring the future of my family, yours too. Now, Richard, you can see that I am motivated by a higher cause, just like you, can't you? Yes. You can walk away from him. I'll call off Tony and his wolves. His heart was never in it anyway. Walk away. It's done. Right now. recorded this. You can't do that. What's the problem, Tom? I'm just gonna give everyone your message. Let them decide for themselves. You should be pleased. Ah! Mrs. Burke, 
We'd like you to come with what? us. No! No! Angela? She left, Eric. What? She wanted to see that senator. I think she tried to call you. Your message light went on. Servant? Yeah, Jeffrey's here. You beeped? Yes, a man called. Said we have her, 833 Southwest Broadway. <laughs> Richard, if I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. It's okay, Richard. He doesn't want to hurt us. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, you're good, Richard. I told him it wasn't going to be easy. No one's that good, Tony. The obvious tale on Angela was one thing, but you showing up at Farmer's Market, that was a little much. Leading me to Ludlow, were you? Why? You finally figure out he was a nut? Or did you realize that once he got to the top, he'd try and eliminate you, too? I'm glad you're OK, both of you. Sure. You were the only other person who knew what he did. Eventually, he would have seen you as a loose end, too. No, this was very clean. I was being watched every minute. If I wanted to beat him, I had to go along with every detail. What if your men had got me? God knows they tried. Then my mission to find you would have been a success. So either way, you were a winner. You're crazy. You know that, Tony? And you've always been a sentimental fool. One other thing. There were signs of a struggle. What was that all about? I didn't go down there to kill him. What do you mean? I went down there to tape him. What? To tape him. You know, Ludlow was always a great speech maker. And don't worry, Tony, he made our group sound very thorough, very heroic. You especially. And what are you going to do with it? Keep it in a safe place. Don't be a fool, Richard. Tony, I want to be sure I'm left alone. Go on, get out of here. I have to tell the kids what happened to David. I mean, I realized I was just going to tell them a bunch of lies. And it'd be the same thing all over again. I'm going to use the tape on Ludlow. I'm going to bust him now. If I don't, David will have died for nothing. And I just I can't live with that. I want to finish the work that he started. And I want to be with you. Can we do this together? It's what I've wanted all along. Come on. Mm -hmm. 